Hi, today is Friday, October 16th. I'm Mike Malcolm, and here's what's coming up at the Church of St. Mary. There are a number of events, some happening on campus and many happening off campus, including the Rosary Rally, which is on Saturday. It's going to be held at La Fortune Park and benefit St. Michael Catholic Radio. The event is masterminded by a St. Mary family, the Schlittler family. So congratulations to them on their success, which will happen this weekend at the Rosary Rally. If you want more information, go to TulsaRosaryRally.com. A little bit further down the line is the 40 Days for Life, and specifically our two days as a parish to pray for the unborn and for an end to abortion at the Garden of Hope or in our homes. There are two days, October 26th and 27th, when we're responsible as a parish to kind of man those hours. They, uh, there is a sign-up sheet on the parish website, and you'll find that at churchofstmary.com slash 40 days. Further ahead, the Knights of Columbus are going to do a blood drive. They're getting me the information. I don't have it right now, but as soon as I do, I'll put it up on the website and social media. I want to express a word of thanks. This is fall break. A parishioner, a very generous parishioner, is um, responsible for providing funds for the school to completely re-cable, to re-network the school. Uh, a lot of the cabling goes back 15 or more years, and one of the things that we found in 2020 is that networking matters. So um, thank you to that generous parishioner, and uh, the school will have a brand new network very, very soon. I'll keep you posted. And finally, this is really big news. Construction has started here on the parish community center, and we got renderings uh, from the architect to show us pictures of what the new building will look like. And I'd like to walk you through some of the renderings that we had back in 2018 and how things have changed now in 2020. I've got side-by-side -side views on my computer. Let's take a look. So let's do a quick history lesson. Back in 2018, the parish conducted the With Arms Open Wide campaign. The vision was to create a building that's just west of Beckerley Hall, basically. It would consist of a parish hall, a kitchen, youth space, meeting rooms, and an outreach center. What's changed since 2018? We have acquired the property west across Quaker Avenue, and that will be the site of the new outreach building. So that means that the new community center no longer needs to be a two-story building. So let's take a quick look at the 2018 vision and the 2020 vision. This is the 2018 vision, and it has this is the parish hall looking north towards the west parking lot. Big glass front building, um, a handicapped accessible drop-off space, and then a new entry into the church. In 2020, he was rendering, this is a slightly different angle, but we have, again, a big, tall parish hall uh, with lots of glass looking forward. A few of the architectural details have changed. Certainly the entrance to the church has changed quite a bit. The um, fire marshal will not allow us to add on to the church building. So instead of having a uh, drop-off area that's covered that extends and touches the church, this one is more freestanding. Another change is that of the courtyard area. The courtyard area in 2018 had access to the parish hall, and then to the west we could see the tall two-story structure that would have had outreach on the bottom floor and some meeting rooms and youth space on the top floor. Here's the same view in the 2020 plans. What we're gonna see is entry, the same kind of entry, into the parish hall as before, but over on the west side, instead of it being the two-story building, it's one story. And this is going to be kind of a walkway um, that takes you from the parish hall down into the meeting rooms and youth space. And then on the other side of these windows, across a little walkway, is the parish kitchen. Pretty similar, but the difference is the height. And here's a view from 49th Place, the city street just south of the church and chapel. This angle is from 2018, and it has the outreach center on the bottom floor, and then some youth space and meeting rooms on the top. This is the 2020 building, the one that we're going to get, and it has uh, exits from the youth space here and the adjoining meeting rooms that exit onto 49th Place. So similar view, um, just again, two story here and one story here.
And let's move on to the parish hall. Back in 2018, this was the vision for the parish hall as it was set up for maybe some sort of a banquet. And in it, we can see a lot of structural beams up above and a lot of architectural detail on the windows. Here is the 2020 vision, and it is a lot more lighter and open and cleaner structurally. Now, big difference between the two pictures is in 2018, there were a bunch of tables that really packed in tightly, and here it's much more sparse. And we have a bonus image that wasn't available in 2018. This is the proposed youth space. This will be right off 49th place at the south end of the property, basically where the old annex was. And you can see that there's a very large youth space with accordion walls that can subdivide those rooms into smaller meeting spaces when it's appropriate. So kudos to everybody involved, especially all the parishioners who donated, the Steyer Group, which conducted the With Arms Open Wide campaign, the Parish Building Committee, which has worked over a lot of the details to design that building over the past two years, Synergy Architects, who are actually doing the documents for the, the architectural design of the building, and now Nabholtz Construction, which is responsible for building that vision. Thank you all. Can't wait to show you the building as it continues to go up. Have a good weekend.